Hey everyone, it's Danielle from Exploring Alternatives. In this video, we're at the Tiny House Festival in Lancia, Quebec, and we're about to meet up with Rivka from Groovy Yurts to learn more about their traditional Mongolian yurts. One of our favorite things about Mongolian yurts is that they've been used for 3,000 years and you can tell by the structure that the design is constantly evolving and that's how it's become the structure that you see today. It is extremely efficient and perfect for, for the nomadic people of, of Mongolia. Mongolia is a very harsh climate, we're talking about Siberia, right? <laughs> so people are surprised when, <laughs> when you find out that you can live in a yurt year round in Canada, in Quebec. Yes, absolutely you can and we recommend maybe a second layer of felt if you're going to be more stationary. But with a good, a good stove and a proper installation, you'll find that you're very nice and toasty. You can heat it with wood, propane, even electric if you're plugged in that way. My personal favorite is wood because it gives a nice warm dry heat, which is really good for this kind of structure. In Mongolia, they use a wood stove as well. Starting from the outside in, the exterior is made from cotton canvas. And then we have a thick layer of sheep's wool felt to keep everything nice and warm. And then we have an inner cotton liner that you can see here. And you have the wood structure, which are like the bones of the yurt. And then for North American climates, we like to add a house wrap. We add the house wrap for waterproofness, but in a traditional yurt that's being used again and again, it's actually the smoke from the fire that creates this sort of coating inside the yurt that keeps the water out. All the layers are tied together with three large horsehair ropes. Everything is hand woven. You have to pull them nice and tight to keep the yurt strong. We have two central posts here in most yurts. They're called bagans. And in the standard five wall yurt, you have 81 uns. The uns sit into the top of the tono, which is the circular window at the top. The uns fit in there and then sit against the walls of the yurt. And the walls are this lattice. And so we'll talk about a five wall or a six wall or a seven wall yurt. And that's how um, Mongolian people determine the size of their yurt. So it's the number of walls. Yurts are the traditional homes of Mongolian people who are, are nomads. And they have a traditional way of setting up the yurt. So usually the man's bed is here at the back. And then the woman's bed to our left here. If the family has children, there'll be another bed here or for any guests. Mongolians don't tie their yurts down to the earth. They have such a deep respect for, for the earth, they don't want to harm it. And so if it is really windy, then they'll use this middle rope to tie it to a large rock in the middle or perhaps anything heavy. When the rope is not in use, they have it tucked here in a serpentine fashion to symbolize fertility over, over the woman's bed. This furniture is also all hand painted. There's a round back to it so that it fits well in the round space. And this one here, as you can see, has little drawers and cupboards for, for storage and underneath as well. Traditional Mongolian yurts are red or orange, and those bright colors symbolize the sun shining over the Mongolian steppe. And if you look up into a yurt on a sunny day like this one, it does very much look like the sun's rays. He's the founder of Groovy Yurts, and he's originally from Switzerland. But when he was a younger man, he's a trucker by, by trade and by, you know, by love. And he wanted to do the biggest road trip possible, so he drove his big truck from Switzerland across this Trans-Siberian Highway all the way to Mongolia. So he raised money and brought school supplies to schools in Mongolia. And once he got there, he had this empty truck to drive back, so he thought, hey, you know, maybe I'll sell a few yurts. That's how it started and it worked really well and he was able to do um, many, many trips going back and forth, bringing school supplies and other necessary things to the impoverished areas of Mongolia and so began uh, Groovy Yurts. We plant three trees for every yurt that we build and everybody that works for us is supported and paid fair wage. And we also promote that the yurts be built as much as possible in the countryside. Just the ropes that we sell, they support an entire village. Thanks for watching, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe to see more like it.